Hey guys, so I'm going to make a short tutorial on how to make the Tau Fractal that I used in my Ketamina edit. Um, I saw a lot of people asking for this and it's pretty simple to make and uh, make something at least similar to what I had. So I'm going to take you guys through my process in order to make one. So for starters, you're just going to add a solid into your AE and you're going to have to add the Tau effect. This is a trap code effect. So um, you should spawn in with something that looks exactly like this. We're going to go through each of the relevant tabs here in order to make it look like mine. So for starters, we're going to open Path Generator. And you're going to change the shape from Circle to Fractal. And now you have this weird looking line thingy. Now you can change how it looks right here. Um, for me, I like making it a little bit longer. Decreasing the complexity. Changing up the evolution until I find something that I like. And then I'll gridify it a little bit, very slightly. And I usually move it back a bit depending on like uh, your environment and I'll scale it up uh, with the size. Now you can tell this doesn't look exactly like mine yet. So I'll show you how to make it look like mine with the next tab that we're going to open which is segment. So you're going to go to your segment and change your segment mode from extrude end gone to repeat sphere. Now you'll start having like these dot thingies but you'll notice there's a lot of open space between them. All you have to do is just increase the amount of segments in order to start filling in that space. Now we have something that already looks a lot more similar to what I had. Um, from here you can start messing around with the size and uh, any other settings in this tab. Usually the only one that I mess with is the orient reference axis. I change that to Y and then I'll mess with the rotation of them slightly and the twist of it slightly. From here I'll probably go back to path generator and start making it look more to my ideal preference. Then I'll just rotate it a bit to find like a more ideal angle. I think something like this is pretty cool. Uh, and now we can close both of these tabs. Now what we're going to do is animate it because if you look, it's just a very still thing right now. In order to animate it, all you have to do is go to the offset tab, enable the offset position, and now just keyframe your offset. And it'll move on a strict path with your objects. Now there's a couple more settings in here that you guys can mess with. I'm just going to keep it very simple for the most part. But there's a lot of stuff that you can do with this. The next tab you want to go to is material and lighting. I usually like to turn down the ambient on it to make it more of a darker hue. While upping the diffuse. Um, almost like your whites and blacks on a uh, levels. Then I up my Fresno a little bit and my specular a little bit. And that's pretty much it for this one. The next tab I like going into is the textures tab. Now I don't have any uh, objects or anything that I could take textures from in here, but if I did, I usually would attach the color and normal and specular to them, um, and then just start messing with the scale and offsets to get like my ideal look. The next very important tab is shader. Uh, personally for me, I like enabling a second pass which enables these wires, and I like sizing them to whatever I see fit. And then I like increasing my ambient occlusion intensity and upping the radius of it slightly uh, just to make it look more 3D and more like in the scene with the shadows. Lastly, I go to rendering and I enable uh, 12 multi samples and that's pretty much it. Now you have something that looks practically one to one to what I made inside of my edit. Um, if you want to make it to where it's like moving incredibly slowly, you just decrease the amount of offset and it'll still move the proper way it's supposed to. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, if you did like it, please follow me on all socials. I really appreciate it. Um, and if you want more tutorials, let me know. You guys have a good day.